Jeremy Townsend, row number eight, the 22, J. Jordan Strong, the 85 of Robert Douglas from row number nine. It is the 2A Ace O'Neill of Lake Ozark and the 60, Jamie Edson. Well, race fans, you know what to do on the front stretch. Get up on your feet. Make some noise for your favorite Sir Dyke, Yamaha Pure Stone Grabber. We've got 15 big ones coming your way next time down in turn number four as the beautiful WK Family Dealerships pace truck will be looking for the infield here on the back stretch. Well, only a handful of drivers have visited Victory Lane with us this season. Who is it going to be tonight? Maybe a return trip for the birthday boy, Jeff Turpin, rolling off from the pole position. But we are going to find out as yellow light has been dimmed. A nice easy pace into turns three and four. Michael Test from the flag stand will look the field over. Well, Turpin setting an even easy pace down into turns three and four. Looking to go racing at that cone and white stripe. Great start. Well, it is going to be Jump Turpin hugging the inside line through turns one and two, leading them down the back straightaway. Good battle for the number three position. Robin Showers, Preston McDowell take it door to door into turns three and four. Back to the flying stand to complete lap number one. Jump Turpin in charge. Well, already some drivers making some big moves. The 12 of. Patrick Smith looking high side down in turn number four. And we've got trouble turn two. Caution flag in the air turn number two. Well, that yellow flag in the air, it is the 60. Jamie Edson of Max Creek losing tire off of the right side of his machine. Did he lose all of his tires? There's two tires. He needs to get off the track. Why is he still on the track? Well, a little debris here on the front straightaway draws the attention of the track safety crew. Well, the 60 of Jamie Ensign, first start of the season with us out of Max Creek. Left front tire missing off of that machine as he had been directed down to the pit area. Well, if the crew ready to go to work, they'll have a chance to replace that left front tire if Ensign heeds the advice of the crew to take it to the hot pit area. Edson takes his machine to the trailer, will not rejoin the race. It is going to be Jeff Turpin looking to get back to the green plank action. Turn number four. Preston McDowell, Jack Wood, door to door in row number two, followed by the 88 of Showers and the 12 of Patrick Smith, your top five. Well, Turpin continuing to work the low side down in turn number four. Once again, wins the race back to the flag stand. It is a three wide affair for the third position. Showers, Patrick Smith and Jack Wood. Trouble the 85 of Robert Douglas pulls his racer to the infield. Douglas out here at lap number three. Well, Jeff Turpin better keep it humping the 26 of Preston McDowell closing our, our leader as that battle up front heats up. Meanwhile, the 30 of Wilson making some big moves through the field as he's up to challenge showers and a wood turn number four. 
trouble, turn four, turn number four. It is the 22J of Jordan Strong around turn number four, yellow flag flies. Then it's going to be the 27 of Aaron Gustin, your point leader, now finds himself sitting just about mid-pack with 10 to go. Well, ready to pick up the green flag action down in turn number four. Jeff Turpin once again brings us to the green. Well, Wilson takes over the four spot now, sets his sights on the 26 of Preston McDowell down in turn number four. Well, the 50 of Daryl Hurd makes a move, taking this one three wide down in turn number two. Out front jump Turpin, Patrick Smith now, the 30 of Wilson, followed by the 50 of Daryl Hurd, your top four drivers, turn number four. Seven laps complete, eight to go, eight to go this time. And here comes Smith Motor and out of turn number two. He draws to within half a car length of Jeff Turpin down in turns three and four. Well, Turpin off the bottom of turn number four. Smith with a big run on the front stretch. And it looks like it's going to be Smith by a couple of a thousandths of a second showing away here at the halfway mark. Patrick Smith. Turpin and Wilson, our top three out of turn number four. Aaron Gustin continuing to work his way through the field. Well, our leaders closing on the four of Paul Turpin here on the front stretch as Turpin a bit off the pace here in the main event this evening. We have got five to go this time. Patrick Smith in search of his first feature victory of 2020 shows the way. We're going to be looking at four laps to go this time, four to go. Well, the four of Paul Turpin has brought his machine to the infield. Smith continues to show the way. Here comes Gustin charging hard down the backstretch. It's going to be Gustin dropping to the bottom of the speedway. Turns three and four. Wilson now making a move. Jeff Turpin for the runner up spot. Give it to Wilson here at lap 12. We have got three to go, three to go. Patrick Smith continues to show the way with only two and a half laps remaining. Aaron Gustin motoring alongside Jeff Turpin for the number three position. Smith and Wilson, one, two, off of turn four. Two to go this time, caution, turn number two, turn two. Then we'll show him back to the green flag, turn number four. Well, Wilson taking it just a bit higher through turns one and two. Gustin motoring down the back straightaway. Once again, it's going to be Gustin looking under Wilson for the runner-up spot. White flag this time, one to go. Wilson, a great run through turns one and two. Charging hard down the back stretch. Here comes Aaron Gustin. It is a three car battle for the lead. Our final trip down in turn number four. It's going to be Smith hanging on for the win over Trevor Wilson. Gustin brings it home in the number three position, the 50 of Hurt. Well, a car around that final lap, that final lap. Trouble for the 22 of Jordan Strong. Well, the second generation racer out of Mexico has been on fire here in 2020. Has been awfully, awfully close. Finally able to secure the victory. His first of 2020 for second generation racer Parker Smith of Mexico. First time winner in your Serdic Yamaha Pure Stock Division. Well, race fans, it's never, ever, ever any sweeter than that first one. Get ready to make some noise. 
It is driver of the 12 machine, Parker Smith of Mexico, your Sirdike Yamaha Pure Stock feature winner. Everybody's got out of the car, Mr. Parker Smith, the driver of the number 12 car. Hey, you did a whale of a job, bud. Thank you. I want to thank everybody. I got a lot of people behind me, and it wouldn't be possible without any of them. Where do you, you got some people you'd like to say thank you to? Yeah, Nan and Nick here that helped me a lot. Like Tom Matt Hosting, he's his car right out here tonight, but it usually is. Me and Farms, they help out a lot more than everybody thinks. There's just too many people to thank. There you go, everybody. Give this man a round of applause to driver number 12, Parker Smith. Most of first time winners in the house with us here last Saturday night. Great way to start off the main event action here tonight. Another first timer, Parker Smith of Mexico. His first trip to Victor Lane here to Lake Ozark Speedway has been a Brad's made a couple of times this season. Glad to see the uh, crew break through with that first victory here this evening. Well, Jordan Graff and Reed Heating.